H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Let me introduce myself. My name is Priya and I'm a senior automation tester with more than 12 years of experience in this IT field. With H2K, I work as a senior faculty to provide the QA, automation and then certification based courses. So this is my introduction. And everybody welcome to the QA demo class. So this will be an agenda for today. First, I will introduce you to our organization, H2K Infosys, and then we will see what is software, how it is developed, what is BA, what is QA, the syllabus, the services, and then the schedule. Now, let me introduce you to our organization. We are from H2K Infosys, and we are E-Verified Business based in Atlanta. We provide the software training, the job placement assistance, and then the job support. This is our client network. We work with GE, AT&T, Intercall, Dish Network, Wells Fargo, Verizon, Sony, Bank of America, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and many others who are located across US. And these are the world-class services that are provided by H2K. We provide the IT trainings with the real-time project work for the corporates, individuals, and MS students. We do the software design, the development, testing, and maintenance. We provide IT staff augmentation, the job placement assistance, and then the technical support. So we are basically into the IT trainings and placements. We offer wide range of IT courses, the software testing, both the manual and automation. We also have the advanced automation using the Selenium, the B and the project management courses, the development courses like Java and .NET, data warehouse, SAP modules, SQL, big data, and so on. So we have wide variety of IT courses that are being offered by H2K Infosys. Now we'll discuss some basics before we discuss about the courses. So I guess all of you understand what is the meaning of software. It is a set of programs developed for specific purpose. And we have different examples of the software like the Gmail, the Microsoft Office tools, internet banking application, online shopping sites, the billing systems in Walmart, mobile applications, and so on. So if you just look around you, you can find plenty of examples of the software. And software is applicable to the various domains. Domains means these are the different type of industries. For example, we have the banking domain, customer relationship management, the retail business, telecom business, manufacturing companies, so you name any kind of organization, you can find the application of the software. And also the software is used by each and every individual, people from the different age group, people from the different professions. That is why you can see that there are a lot of IT projects that are currently in line. The main reason why people go for the IT field, because there are plenty of job opportunities available. You get a good pay scale. Third and most important thing is, even though you're from non-IT background or you have any kind of gap in the career, you can still make your career as, a, as an IT professional. Now to develop the software, there are certain well-defined steps followed in the IT industry. First, the requirements are gathered by the business analyst. The requirements are gathered by the business analyst. Then there is planning and analysis. Project planning is done by the project manager. The detailed analysis of the requirements is done by the business analyst. Software is designed by the architects. Architects are experienced developers who create the design of the software. Software is developed by the team of developers. Once the software is ready, it should undergo the testing process by the QA. And after that, the software is released to the client. So this forms our IT team. This forms our IT team. And though these are IT professionals, they commit certain errors or the human mistakes due to which the defects will get introduced into the software. When we release a defective software to the client, it results into the failure. That is why 
the software testing has to be done. It's all about identifying the defects and we want to make sure that a defect free software is released to the client and that's how the failure can be avoided. So what is testing? It's all about identifying the defects in the software and also verify the requirements of the client. There is one more interesting role here called as business analysis. Now all the people in the IT project team, they cannot go and meet the client directly. Individually, they cannot gather the requirements separately. That is why we have a business analyst here who will meet the client, gather all the project information and then share it with the IT team. So these are the two roles that we are currently providing for your job opportunities. As a BA, you coordinate between the IT project team and then the client team. And then as a QA, you have to do the testing. So this is regarding the basics. What is software? How it is developed? What is BA and what is QA? Now let's have a look at an example here. Let's consider wellsforgo.com. It's an internet banking application of the Wells Fargo Bank. Let's assume that we need to implement the internet banking application for the Wells Fargo Bank. And Wells Fargo will be our client. So from the client, it's a business analyst who will gather all the project information. So when we say the BA gathers the information, it's not any technical information that is gathered by the business analyst, but it will be a business information. The client will not tell us how to develop the software, what programming language we need to use, how to write the programs, but instead they will give us the business information. For example, what are the different tabs that should appear? What are the different features under each of these tabs? What are the different types of customer accounts, the steps and methods to transfer the money? So basically all the services that have to be automated using the software, all the features that are to be provided to the customers will be explained by the client to the business analyst. And this information will be used by the other people in the IT team to develop the software. Once the software is ready, it should be tested by the QA team. Again, as a QA, you're not doing the testing at the program level, but you'll check the actual software. Let's consider an example here, the login functionality. In order to test the login functionality, first we enter the valid username, valid password, and then click on the sign on button. So what should be the expected result here? The account should open with inbox. Then we also try the invalid possibilities like invalid username, password, valid username, invalid password, invalid username, valid password. So we have the different combinations of the username and password that are being tested over here and we want to make sure that the account does not open and then the error message will be displayed. So this is how the testing is done. And after you log in, you have to click on the different tabs. You have to transfer the money, check the different kind of accounts and services that are provided. But of course, you'll be doing it with a dummy account, not with the real accounts. OK, a dummy database will be given using which the testing has to be done. And in order to do this kind of testing, there are different documents that you'll be creating as a QA. I'll show you an example here. So this is the work from our recent batch. This is a format of the test case document. Then we have the traceability matrix. Right from the simple example, we'll be considering the complex examples here, and then we will show you how to write the test cases with a project based example. Now this is a job oriented course. OK, so we'll be discussing with the project based example and also the hands on practice. The live projects will be considered. Now this is about the business analysis and then the software testing. Let's have a look at the QA course syllabus. We start right from the basics. This is a QA course syllabus and then we start right from the basics. The basics of software engineering and testing because most of the students who enroll in this QA course, they are from non IT. So we start with the basics. Everything will be discussed with the project based examples and then the hands on practice. In the main part of the course, we have the manual testing wherein the practical sessions will be conducted. We will mainly focus on the testing steps and then the test documents. Now, since it is a job oriented course, whatever we are going to discuss here, everything will be based on the real time projects. 
Then we have the Jira 2. So this is for the defect management. SQL for the database testing, Unix and Linux, automation testing with the UFT tool, performance testing using the load runner, web services testing using SOAPI tool, ETL and data warehouse testing with the Informatica tool, and then we have the mobile application testing. So these are the 10 different topics that will be covered in more than 100 hours, means it will take approximately more than three months for us to complete the course. We also help you with the placement activities like we have the resume preparation, unlimited hours of mock interview sessions, the domain-based learning, we provide the hands-on practice on the project documentation and then the testing tools. So these are the different services. And this is not just the manual testing that we are covering. We also cover the automation testing, the different types of testing tools and testing types. Because when you consider this software, it has the different features. And as a QA, you should know to do the testing end to end. All the features of the software should be tested. Like we have to check the functionalities, we have to check the data, and then um, check the speed of the software, check the compatibility. So every feature of the software has to be tested. And in order to do the different types of testing, we have the different types of tools. And then there are tool supports that are available, which you need to learn. And all this is included in our QA course. So this is the end to end software testing course that we are providing. And H2K Infosys is the only organization wherein all these topics will be covered in one single course. So you can go through this. Let me know if you have questions. Read the syllabus. If you have questions, please ask. I have a question. Can I ask? Yes, please ask. Do you help me to get the job? Yes, we help you in the job placement assistance. OK, OK, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Now I'll show you another course which is called as a BA. Along with this QA course, you can also enroll in the BA course. Along with the QA course, you can also enroll in the BA course and this will include the project management concepts. So project manager is basically the head of the ID project team who will plan and control all the activities of the project. If you want to work as a project manager, you have to start your career as a business analyst. So in this course, we have roles and responsibilities, techniques, diagrams, documents, methodologies, and tools that are used by the BA project manager. To train you on this course, we have a project manager with more than 16 years experience in this IT field, PMP certified since last 10 years, and also has a training experience of more than eight years. Now, this is a profile of the BA project management trainer. This is a qualification of our trainer. We have an experienced and um, a very qualified trainer who will be providing the BA plus project management course. You can go through this. Let me know if you have questions. Can I ask you another question, please? Yes, go ahead. Please ask your questions. Uh, so uh, what are you recommending? Uh, because I am a non IT. So should I go uh, to QA or uh, BA? Which one should I go first? What is your Open combination? QA plus BA both in combination the classes also you are going to attend parallelly. So you are going both the classes together? Yes, no, both right? the classes together. I'll show you the schedule and I will tell you how it works. Okay. 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 Now let's have a look at the services that are provided by H2K. No matter what course you take with us, the syllabus is really huge, covering a lot of topics here so that you can add more number of skills on your resume. And that's how you can get many number of jobs. We have all the US based trainers here who will provide you with the training. This is pay only one time and you can repeat the sessions any number of times that you want. The testing tools will be installed on your computer for your practice by our technical support team. So we have a separate technical support team who will take care of your installation. We help you with the resume preparation mock interview sessions. Training is based on the latest technologies and in the current job market. And you can find all this information on our website. You can find all this information on our website www.h2kinfosys.com. We have the forums wherein you can interact with the other students of H2K. We conduct project based sessions. Course material will include the detailed materials plus the pre-recorded videos. 
you can find the reviews on google plus facebook and youtube for the job placement assistance we have a separate team available we have started our organization in 2010 we have trained more than 50000 students in qaba our placement record for the previous year is 84% we have the average rating from our students it's 9 out of 10 ours is the number one institute in us for qaba training h2k infosys has about 24000 subscribers on our youtube channel you can process YouTube channel and you can find our um, YouTube channel and you can see that there are 24.7 thousand subscribers to our YouTube channel. So these are the job openings that you can find. These are a couple of examples in the monster.com, dice.com, careerbuilder.com. You have to contact our training coordinators for the enrollment. OK, and how do you do that? You have to call this number. For the enrollments, you can call. 770-777-1269 or you can also write an email to us training at h2kinfosys.com now this completes our today's demo class for the enrollments you can contact our training coordinators thanks everyone and have a good day